he was up everybody and uh, so what are we looking at here we're looking at a we're looking at a 13 inch um supreme snare actually so i think that's the name i guess it's the it's supreme snare <clears throat> so basically i just want to just do a video you know showing you guys how i'm going to repurpose this into like tune it up do some kind of things because i quite this snare from a church i used to play kind of and it's actually not fully mine in that sense i just it's kind of like on borrowed vibes so ah but for the most part i just want to just do something um like repurpose it like i went out to the market to see if i could get the snare wires but they don't have the snare wires they don't have they don't have a coated head i only saw clear heads so and um and this thing that has to like that pulls up the snare uh you know the clamp actually i actually used it because i don't know i don't think i'm going to be using that it's just kind of like <clears throat> something i'm going to patch up i just want to be like using it for rehearsals and kind of kind of stuff just patch it up and just see how it's going to sound you know um yeah so the first thing i just got was just that i got like some engine oils here as you can see now this is like some engine oils this is just the first part anyway so i'm just going to pour the engine oil in the like oh, oh, oh should be too much so i'll pour the engine oil <laughs> i'm literally looking at it i'll pour the engine oil then what i want to do first is to like i want to first lubricate the rims right so i got a cutting board actually so i will put the cutting cutting board here then i just find the way to just like let them go inside you know sorry about that I, you know you guys have seen it so i take it so i kind of like want to lubricate the inside first right uh so that's what i'm going to do so when i'm done i'll come back i'll show you guys i'm going to do that for every rim right so yep yeah. All right, all right, all right. We are back. As you can see, I actually did put oil on all the surfaces. Like I just what I just did, I just added one like this. Then what I did was that I took like this one and I just added like a drop inside. So I did it for all the sides actually, all the sides, all the sides. So you can see, guys can see that. So this for all the sides. No. So that this just this is just going to be the first part, right? Then what I will do is, <coughs> you guys should give me a second. And just take this off real quick i'll put this one down here and what i will do is um i'll just take off this snare for now and just put it like this right sorry about that so i'll just leave it there like that so that it can like grease the all the the, the 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 like the it will like grease the inside like it will like, literally work then i'll be back for the part two on how i the heads i'm going to be using because the heads i'm using are kind of like cheap heads you know they're not like the evans and the remos kind of heads but it is what it is i'm just, I'm just kind of like i like i said i want to just patch things off like patch things off i'm going to be using the old snare wires because i couldn't find the 13 inch right but you know it is what it is you know i just need, i just need something that i can use my personal snare i can use to be has and uh and what, one thing i did i did not mention is the fact that this snare has then logs actually like um 10 tension rods points it's 10 so and i think it's a, it's a piccolo snare so watch out for the second part uh i'll get back to you guys when i'm when i'm about to like uh, do the rest of the thing so yeah all right all right all right there's one thing i forgot to mention right and which is like i said everything's going to be on the budget i'm going to be doing as you can see there are about 10 logs here they are all rusted up actually i'm not really I wanted to get go get new new ones but apparently i don't know i guess this, this market here um that i have that we, um, um where, I, where i actually be is the market they don't have these nuts i went i don't know i'll still go and check anyways so i'll still go and check so there are like 11 of these here so i think about nine more so what i want to do is since i'm just repurposing them i just like see what i can do to put all of them inside here you know i just put the fit in actually so I'll just what I just do is just uh, add. Um, sorry for my bad camera holding. I'll add about more. All right, more engine oil. 
just to let the whole thing sink in, you know. So, so what I'll just be doing is I'll be leaving them inside because why I'm doing all these things is that since they are all going to be budget friendly, right? Why I'm doing all these things is because um sorry about that. Why I'm doing all that is because I want to um uh I want to when I start like screwing all the knots, screwing everything, they will enter freely. They will not be struggling and all that kind of stuff. And I recommend this for anybody that just like um maybe like you have an old snare, you are still you have your main drum and your snare. Just lose it up, you know, put some lubri lubes inside like a lubricant like an engine oil or something because it's metal so it do well work well with engine oil. So that's this whatever that's that about this video. I uh, will when they've all stayed for long and they've all lubricated, I'll do a part two. I'll I will come back to you guys. I'll actually go to the market and get and look for the tension rods again. Mm, so I need about nine more so and I'll get a clear head and yeah, that's basically it. See hey, what's up everybody, welcome back. Um <clears throat> okay, so finally um the we are gradually coming to the end of the snare repurposing, right? So I'm going to I'm just going to just run through quick the things I got. Um it was quite a hassle to get all these things, you know, because this snare itself, right? Like I said, like I said this snare is I don't know. This snare they said it's from actually from I don't know if it says from Taiwan, okay. So it's actually a different kind of snare. So this is you not know, your regular snare we use in this in this part of my in my country I'm from, right? So I was able to just just get them apart like this one exactly because that's exactly, actually a 13 inch snare that is a, a 13 inch snare so i got this one a 13 inch like snare and wires for the bottom right and it was quite hard to get it but and it was quite expensive as well but you know what anything for drums you know so but these are the heads i'm going to be using uh so this is just going to be an eco head 13 inch as you can see right here 13 inch is what i'll be using they're not really the best of heads but you know you know what it is then these are basically the knots so if i got these knots ah guys man these, these, these knots are, 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 are quite a hassle to find because they're kind of special kind of knots you know and so this one i'm going to be using this one as well for to clip the ones like uh, to clip it to the rim actually because this is already bad hold on let me show you guys something this thingy here is bad already so unless i want to screw everyone screw everything and to get that it's quite expensive as well but you know it is what it is i have to go with what i have so and this one too like two rims you know for the resume head and the bala head so so that's basically the whole story story for this one you know when i'm done i'm um, repurposing this snare i'll just like tune it up my only prayer is that it gives me a very good sound right that's what I'm interested in because churches out here, man, the equipment are not good. So, you know, I'm just getting them one by one. So, I have plans to get even more stuff. So, but you know, it is what it is. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'll catch you guys for next one, which is when I'm done playing the snare. And uh, so, yeah. Yo, what's up, everybody? So, uh, you remember, it's time, sorry, first of all, it's time to repurpose this name. I'm repurposing this name right now. So, you remember, I, I had the knots right here. So, what I'll do this for the I think okay this is for the bala head like this is the back side right so I am going to now the first now this I think I'll just use a rack to clean inside the next now this I will push this head I'm using this for the down side come here, hold up hold up so I'll show you guys I'm using this bad boy for the down I know it's not some I know it's not like some like some pretty crazy head but you know, it is what it is so I'm going to use this for the down. Then I'm going to see what's up because I'm not really, really, really sure the knots are going to fit in because you know this drum is is, is kind of, I can't really find it around. Like the parts are not really easy to get. So I will come back and I will when I'm done. So yeah. Oh, I want more thing I wanted to add. Like I said, this is the one I got for the 13 inch. Uh, I don't know. I think it is called. I think DB percussion. I think okay, yeah, I think it's for drummer boss. I think because you see this side here, see that is drummer boss. This are these sticks we actually use in Nigeria, drummer boss. So uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to like put these two things here. Like I put the one for here, I put the one for here. Then I like I'll tape it with um coming. 
Okay, sorry. I'll take it with the rims. Like I'll put it on the rims because those sides are those sides are damaged and you know to get those two stuff are quite expensive. I think I still have a board there actually. All I'm talking about is the one that actually clamps the snare. Like sorry, that clamps this thing to the body board. It's quite expensive and um, I don't want to go to back to where I got it. The charge really very is very pricey, so I cannot afford it for now. So but for the most part, I'm going to do it the local way and see. I hope I get a good sound from it. So yeah. You I'm sorry, I'm sorry I forgot to add. So one thing I love about this um snare wire is the fact that if you guys look closely, if you look down here, um try and see if you can get it. If you look here, there's kind of like a place you can open. I'm coming, let me see if I can give you a closer perspective. Okay, as you can see. So you see these sides, you can actually open them. So let's say this one like like kind of has an issue. I can go and get like the one for the 14 inch at the cell. Or which one is it? like this old one. I'll just cut it right and just remove this thing and put them inside and align them. So that's one thing that's cool about this one I actually really like. So even if this one has issues, I can always go back and get right. And I think they're about one, two, three, four, five. I can't count. <laughs> Don't get the videos though, but it's kind of long, so uh so yeah, that was another chipping. All right, all right, all right. So I'm done. As you can see, what I'm talking about. So if for you you have an issue with the, the I don't know what they call that stuff that clamps the uh the snare. Sorry, the wires to the snare. So you can like unleash it. So let's say you want to like you're playing in church. And you want to do something like a, a a Latin sort of nature. You know that kind of Latin thing that we do. Can 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 can. Okay, if you want to like reduce this thing and you don't really have this, you can do this as well. Just open the rims and get this to stuff and put it underneath the rims. Like then what you do is you will then screw it together but make sure you pull it like really tight so that to give you a very good one so just the budget way of doing things right um so yeah depending on time you're able to have money to get a good one which is what i'm doing here so i'll catch you guys all right okay so once now the chipping is uh this this uh tension rod is kind of rusted though but you know um uh, like i said i'm trying to repurpose the snare like i collected it from a church that kind of thing so i'm trying to repurpose it so i know it's not the best of uh, so what i want to point out is once you are putting your tension rods inside your rims right make sure they are washers there because i noticed one thing about so they got me they got us a new drum in my church right and i noticed that when i was trying to like replace the head right it was actually spoiling the rim so you want to have washers on there make sure you have washers because if you don't have washers to you damage your rim and you don't want that so make sure you have washers which are a way of helping it to screw in tightly nice and tightly so if you go and buy nuts make sure there are washers there if you don't find washers just wait till you find washers so this kind washers are, washers are the things that are here kind of like the small thing that are here that's the second layer if you can see and can make focus okay so that's what it is so yeah uh i'll do that here now And also, I'm just um, I'm making like finger tight, so I'm not like tightening it like that. So as I kind of like I can't I, I can't use my hand actually because it's small snare. So I'm just trying to make it finger tight with the keys. So next thing I do, and warning, I'm not really good at tuning drums. I'm still learning this thing myself. But what I've come to understand about tuning drums is that if you want to get a very good sound from your batter head, right? That's the backside. Um, is that for the snare? I heard that you need to tune it as tight as you can you need to crank it up like crank it really well but not too tight so that you can um get the reason is because if the down part is tuned low and the bottom the front is uh maybe tuned uh it's pretty very let's say high as well right it might not really get a very good sound because when you are hitting it like it's like you are hitting it and you are giving the bottom a feedback so you are giving the bottom a feedback so whatever you, you tune the down part is what the feedback it will give you so if it is low, it's kind of going to be weird. So we have to crank it up. So what I will do is I'll hold this one here, right? I wish I had someone here that will help me hold them. I hold it, I hold them, and I will just, you know, just maybe do two quarter turns. You do, and once you want to do this, like I said, it's at ten logs. I'll do two. I'll do two. I'll do two. Don't do do it like this. Or you can do it like this, like this if you want. But just make sure you are doing it. And make sure you can hold your hand. And make sure you do one, two, one, two. You get the sound so that it will equal. Right, some people use drum dials, but I don't have a drum dial. So like I said, we are repurposing this name. Hope it gives us a good sound. So yeah, I'll be back. Alright, we are back. So uh, I did my best to 
give them even logs. I did two, two, two. I think I think I, think I did two quarter tons to uh, twice round. Like I did it here, 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 here. Like the next thing I did was that I did one quarter ton two times. So that was what I did for now. So I don't know about this. I think I'm still going to have to do, try to get my friends to help me do it when we are done. So for now, this is what we are, is what we are getting. I don't know. That's one way they tune in. What they do is that they check each tension rod and they and like the listing. At least from most of the videos I watch on YouTube, I don't know. Just like then, what you can do is actually once you hear one sound and you want to tune the rest of the pitches, that's each tension rod like that. You just tap one two times. You try and get match the matching tone round. You want to get really experimental about it, but now I'm going to try different bunch of things. This is my first attempt, I know really if you, how I'll get it right. But that was the good thing. So, uh, that's for the down. I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to try to get for the top. So, for the top, we have already established the fact that I am going to be using this eco head, right? Uh, this is what we have over here. Evans are quite expensive. I think Evans goes for like, I don't really know. But what I'll do is. I do same measures. I'll put it here, right? Center it. No. I guess I don't say I will see this one. No. Then this is where the challenging part comes in. The screws I bought, I'm not really sure if they, are, they, are, they actually the person that did it for me assured me I was going to fit in. Man, let's hope it does, you know. Let's see, let's see what we get from it. So I'll be back, yeah. You then for this one, um what I'm going to do is that I'll put it in, like I said, the washers are there, as you can see, the washers are there. I'll put it in, there's some dust there. I'll put it in, and I'll do like this, you know. And I'll do, I'll do finger tightening for everything. Right, that's what I'm going to do. And the ones that are very hard, I'll just use um my key. But what I did was just that, inside this thing, guys, over right here, I put oil, like engine oil, kind of, so, to lubricate the other. I didn't do it for these screws, right, because I just got them. I wanted to just know if I'll be returning them back. So be sure so yeah i'm sorry one more thing i forgot to i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm always saying i'm sorry so i always oh. add it just that it's clear heads but i found that work really well with this kind of snares like metal snares if you want to get a very good one you can get the ordinary one of this one like i see this one is uh, the snare heads that i used back in primary school yeah like elementary school and that kind of thing then this one i highly recommend you get a coated head if you are a nigerian and you know our nigerian snares are here so if you want to get the very best sound out of it, the one that's proven to work is the white one you see there and the coated one E core. Once you tune it up, you get a very nice sound, right? Even if you have this one and you can like spray like some paint on it, you can actually do very well. Because what they put on coated is paint. Basically from the word coated, coated paint. So I'll be back when I'm done doing the whole thing. So yeah. Alright, we're back. So I think I tightened everything. So what I would do just that I would do. Why just I hold my hand here to know where I stop because I don't want to be confused. So I'll do two quarter tones like this. Then I'll find the one that is diagonally opposite to this one here. I'll do for everything like that. Right. So and uh, and don't mind the drums are kind of rusted because it's old. They gave me from a storehouse. <laughs> like <sighs> surprising how plenty of good the churches have that is. No, I don't want to throw away. So yeah, but they just don't know how to do it. So yeah. Alright, so I'm done with the whole tuning of the logs of everything. But we are still getting this is the last sound I'm talking about. That's the last sound. If you want bang, the can the key. So that's let you know that the wires and I've not yet made contact. You can see that if I if I if I use my hand to hold it. Gives me a very good sound, right? I know it's not the best of sound, you know, but uh, what I'll just do is I'll find a way to like loosen it down and like find a friend to help me hold it. <laughs> so that's just basically what it's going to be. So 
uh yeah that's basically it I'll, when i'm done with that i'll give you guys the final sound and maybe take it out to church and play with it so yeah cheers mm.